This is the Remote Work Life Coaches Corner with Alex Wilson Campbell. Tune in for another guided career reflection question to help you come unstuck and figure out your next steps so you can finally begin to work toward your career goals. Your question for today, what is the difference you want to make? You might not believe you can make a difference. And that is, in a funny way, the difference that I want to make, if that makes sense. So I want to show you that you have value in this world and what your value is, the problems you can solve, the people you can help. And literally any career that you can think of, any business that you can think of at some point, somewhere along the chain, you're going to be helping a person or a group of people in some way to overcome some sort of problem. It's just about figuring out which areas you help with. So that's my part of the difference that I make. That's part of it is really that self-realization, helping to pull that out uh, from the various conversations I have and my coaching calls. But not just that, I think I've realized as I've got older that it's a bit more than that. It's about having a sense of real purpose and working towards that purpose not straying from the path going towards your goals by developing habits that will take you towards those goals you know and that's again part of part of what I do that's the difference I want to make in your life if you're if you're one of my coaching clients that's what I would one of the things I'd probably say but what the reason I say that to you is because I want you to think about that as well. It's really important, and don't don't think about it from a from the perspective of the functional thing. So far too often in the coaching calls I have, I speak to people who are in marketing, people who are in sales, people who are in uh, operations or strategy, and they think along the lines of the functional things that they do. Uh, in terms of, I don't know, lead generation or, I don't know, um, Excel spreadsheets, um, whatever it may be. So they think, th- think a lot along the lines of the functional areas that they apply to their work in terms of the difference that they make. I think you've got to dig a bit deeper. And if you work in a business that, you know, puts its mission, its values front and centre that is a big clue for you to understand what what you contribute, what difference that you make to the world, to people's lives. It it may may not be on a a macro scale, it might may be on a a a smaller scale, but it doesn't it's no it's no less important. It doesn't matter what the scale is, um, it's no less important. So this is what I want to make, this is the difference I want to make in people's lives is as I said before. Now you've got to figure out what difference that you, do you make in, in, in people's lives. As, as I said, one big clue to that is having a real understanding of the values of the business that you work in. And this is what keeps you going. Knowing those values is, is what keeps you going. In the times that I, I, I do so many calls, coaching calls each week, 20, 30 calls a week, and it's... You can probably hear my voice. My voice often it sort of gets crack croaky because of the number of conversations that I have. Sometimes those conversations are quite revealing and sort of not nice conversations from the perspective of the ordeal that some certain people might be going through in their lives. But when I when I look at and again member, members of my team when we think about the, what we're trying to do the difference we're making people's lives, this is what what fuels us to, to go forward. This is what fuels us to get better and to do more, um, and to just really be that that difference in people's lives. Keep them accountable. Keep them on track. Keep them working towards the goals. Keep them understanding that they have value. They have purpose. So you got to think about things from your standpoint now so as I've said before get your pen get your journal or your notebook write down what is the difference that I want to make so write that down now
That's it for today's episode of the Remote Work Life podcast. Click the link in the show notes below to access a free list of 100 remote businesses that hire regularly. And if you're feeling stuck or uncertain on issues of career or personal development, head on over to www.remoteworklife.io where you can watch exclusive on-demand video featuring real-world remote work leaders and future of work experts on key remote work topics, including how to get clarity on your career direction, how to thrive while working remotely, how to network effectively and stay connected, and how to tend to your personal and career development needs. Go to remoteworklife.io now, and remember to connect with me, your host, Alex Wilson-Campbell, on YouTube, LinkedIn, and Facebook.